hello friends and welcome to my channel in this video i am going to show you how you can model a coupled pendulum in python in this video i am going to do a mathematical analysis of this problem also so you will learn lots of physics also from this video okay so let's do the mathematical analysis first which is lagrange method so consider a case where two pendulums are hung at the hook and they are well separated by a distance d as shown here uh, let's assume that uh, this ball 1 makes an angle theta 1 with respect to negative y axis and ball 2 makes an angle of uh, theta 2 with uh, negative y axis the length of uh, the arm is L and you notice that uh, here I have attached spring with the spring constant K at distance L by 2. So the first step you have to do in Lagrange method is you have to define a coordinate. So in Cartesian coordinate as we have a two uh, independent coordinate theta 1 and theta 2 we have uh, this set of equation for ball 1 these are the coordinates and time derivative of this coordinate is shown here same goes for ball 2 also except for this d which is the fact that uh, ball 2 is uh, d distance away from ball 1 now the next step is we have to identify our energies which are kinetic energy and potential energy so this is how you can do it here x1 dot and x2 uh, x2 dot and y1 dot and y2 dot are we have already derived here okay and uh, you notice that this mg y1 and mg y2 are the potential energy due to gravity and this half delta d square is the potential energy due to spring now this delta t is basically this l by 2 sine theta 2 minus theta 1 this is basic math you can do it by yourself now as we all know the Lagrangian is kinetic energy minus potential energy so we have this equation and from the Lagrange's equation of motion we have this two set of equations theta 1 double dot is equal to this thing and theta 2 double dot is this thing maybe now you can see here so this two are the equation and must notice that this is our final step which is step 3 okay so now we are going to code this two equation now to code this equation we have to use this v python library so here i have first imported v python library and obviously our numpy is required now second thing is constant see uh, this is the gravitational constant g this is spring constant which i have mentioned here see this k thing okay and m is the mass of two balls here i have assumed that mass of both balls are identical okay next is initial angle this is theta 1 and theta 2 this uh, here i have assumed that uh, initially theta 1 was 35 degree and uh, theta 2 was 30 degree okay l is length of arm and d is the separation distance now comes the simulation part this t is the simulation time this dt is the accuracy okay obviously we cannot solve this two equation analytically so we have to go for numerical methods okay and in this video i am going to use euler kromer method okay now okay now the second part is coordinates so here x1 and y1 x2 y2 are defined now comes the v python part okay we have to do a canvas setting 
so here i have named my canvas coupled oscillator and i have defined a hook this hook is basically this shaded rectangle rod ball 1 and ball 2 first ball is or uh, has red color and the second ball has blue color means this has red color and this has blue color this two are the rods having length L this is the spring and uh, this thing a will plot a graph and uh, I'm going to plot a phase space trajectory which, uh, which is nothing but the uh, angle on uh, x-axis and um, velocity on y-axis so this is how you you can plot phase space and now comes the solver so here i am first assuming that uh, initial velocity of both the oscillator is zero means theta dot is equal to theta two dot is equal to zero and uh, we start with t is equal to zero time okay and this two are the equation his you must notice that uh, this is the euler cromer method which is very easy and uh, first by integrating this term numerically obviously by integrating this term we will get velocity term so here you can see that this is the acceleration term this whole term is acceleration term and multiply by dt will give you omega 1 which is velocity the next thing is angle now once we get the uh, velocity angular velocity more precisely then by uh, multiplying it by dt factor we can have our theta 1 and theta 2 and this is simple time update t is equal to t plus dt this is the plotting and this is the our update on phase space okay so let's start now this was the whole thing let's run our code and see what we'll get okay so here you can see that initially 35 degree was given to ball 1 and 30 degree to ball 2 and they are tracing their path on this phase space here uh, you must notice that uh, we are not uh, applying any external energy to the system so energy total energy must be conserved okay and here you can see that this close phase space trajectory depicts that that uh, this system is conserved system so hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys in the next video bye for now